we'll see how to import data using a csv file <laughs> so if you want to import a file you go to neo4j desktop where you have installed your software and go to neo4j databases go to the database import folder and then you put your file there so i have a file here inside my import folder and this file has got three columns name registration number and school of all the students in my class so if i want to import this i'll save it as a dot csv file after saving it i have to run this command so load csv from file students dot csv it's going to import that from that particular import folder as line so line by line it will import and uh, for each line it will create a node and the label for that node is student and each column say line of 0 is column 1 line of 1 is column 2 line of 2 is column 3 so these are columns in the excel sheet so the first column i am mapping it to name and the second column i am mapping it to registration number and the third column i am mapping it to school since uh, we have the you know index is starting from 0 instead of column 1 we are saying it as line 0 line 1 and line 2 so if i am going to run this it will import all the rows and create nodes for each row and the label will be student so let's go and uh, run this one straight so it added 27 nodes so let's go and see all the nodes added so it's uh, of type student return is yes. so you can see here all the nodes being added so if i click on this particular node name is tejas vijay and registration number is mcp3 and school is four so like that you can add properties uh, now to your nodes so that's how you import an uh, csv file there's also one more thing called importing a csv file with header suppose your excel sheet has an header then it will ignore that and it will create records for the remaining rows so you can also try that 